33-year-old Kimberly Christopoulos describes scars as tattoos with better stories. And at just 33, she has some stories to tell. Living with juvenile arthritis since she was five, Kimberly had a hip replacement last year and a total knee replacement last month. I couldn't dress myself. I couldn't put my shoes and socks on by myself. Um, my social life deteriorated because I was always in pain and I couldn't walk for long periods of time. At just 53, Gennaro De Bellis, who works in construction, was in pain all day. You're, you're favoring your leg and you're, you're like limping now because you're trying not to straighten it out. Both Kimberly and Gennaro fit into a growing, younger group of patients having total knee replacement surgery. Nearly one-third are now 55 or younger. That's where we're seeing a real shift in, in the thinking about who can, who can and should have a total knee replacement. As a leading orthopedic surgeon at the Holland Centre, Dr. Jeffrey Gaulish says part of the change comes from advances to the joint replacement components. They now function better and last longer, the majority 15 years or more. The Holland Centre has also advanced understanding of when surgery is needed and the importance of not delaying a necessary procedure. The lower people start on the functional scale, the poorer their long-term outcome. A total knee replacement takes less than two hours to complete and Dr. Gaulish and his colleagues perform more than 1,000 at the Holland Centre every year. An award-winning model of care there helps determine who is a candidate for surgery, who needs other forms of care like physiotherapy and has also cut down on wait times. The basic procedure involves moving the kneecap off to the side reshaping the ends of the, of the two bones, uh, choosing the appropriate size of components, attaching those components to the bone, which is generally done with a cement that fits in between the metal and the bone so that it's much like a grouting to fill in the gaps, uh, and then sewing up the knee. With improvements in surgical techniques, pain management, and an emphasis on physiotherapy soon after surgery, 80% of patients go directly home four days after surgery without needing admission to an inpatient rehab facility. That's a huge advance from a decade ago. Patients are going home and doing better. And while patients need time to fully recover, Gennaro and Kimberly felt the difference right away. It like feels better and feels so much different and better already. I came from my shower. I feel great. There's no pain is like from one to ten it's maybe two maybe it's a big deal trust me when you're not in pain you feel like a million bucks if you notice that activities of daily living are getting more difficult like walking up the stairs or getting your shoes on or you're increasingly relying on pain medications that may warrant an assessment no matter how young or old you are for more information visit sunnybrook.ca with Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.